Hi, this is Vivian. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I do my nails, my artificial nails. It is a highly requested video. This is the method that I've been using since January or February this year. I love it. It is from Gelish Harmony, as you can see here. It's the Poly Gel, Gelish Poly Gel. I bought this at eBay. I got it from eBay for around $50. And this is a kit. I will post a picture and give you links so you can find it in Amazon and other websites, maybe eBay too. It comes in a black box and that black box from Gelish Poly Gel contains these five pieces in it. It is the Poly Gel Natural Clear Cheer, the Gelish Poly Gel Slip Solution, a key to squeeze this tube, an applicator to get the gel and this bag to save this tool in here as you can see also you will need the following you will need a brush this is from the same brand gelish it cost me 25 dollars separate and also includes the applicator tool i initially started using an acrylic brush but this one worked for me way better than the acrylic brush. When I did my first application with the Gelish Poly Gel, I was a little bit frustrated because it was not applying well. And then I decided to buy this brush from them and it is the perfect brush to apply this product. This product is odorless. The price is amazing, around $50 for this. And you can even do around 140 to 150 nails with this kit. Also, the most impressive and amazing thing about this product is that you apply it to your nails as if you were applying acrylic. You put the little pearl on your nail. And the amazing thing about this product is that it won't dry out until you cure it under a UV or LED lamp. You can play with it, do whatever you want, and it will not dry until you dry it under the lamp. It is awesome this is a miracle i'm loving it i don't change it it is absolutely odorless which is really good you will also need an led or uv lamp i got this one from amazon it cost me around 30 to 35 dollars sun uv smart 2.0 it has a timer it is really, really hot. It is a UV LED lamp. It turned to be really good. Also, you will need to make your nails and it is important to have these two products over here. This is the Harmony Pro Bond and the Gelish pH Bond. This goes first and this goes second on the nail before applying the gel per se. Gelish Poly Gel is a mixture of acrylic and gel all together and it's really nice to mold it's really nice to manage you will also need a clear top coat i use this clear top coat from the same brand which is gelish top it off it is amazing it has a really good shine in it really transparent it is really good and long lasting you will also need a hundred and hundred eighty file to file down your nails this is double sided one is 100 and the other side is 180 you will also need a clipper if you're going to use artificial nails these are in the shade natural but you can choose them either clear or white tips too a nail clipper to clip your nails your natural nails nail glue any one of your favorite brand a cup for the slip solution a brush to dust your nails when you're filing some pure acetone to clean your brush after the application of the poly gel and i like to have nail surface cleaner this is to remove any oils that you have from your natural nail so you ensure that you have a better adhesion from the glue and to the tips and also from the poly gel to your nails and i also like to have an antibacterial cleanser to sanitize my hands but this is really good i will put everything below in the information box where it says show more you click there and i will give you all the names of all these products that i'll be using today also i'm going to show you that the poly gel nail enhancer comes in different shades this is clear and this is light pink 
they come in different tones pink and also like a beige tone and it is amazing it's really good you will see how it works on me i also like to have a little stick to clean the edges of the cuticle and some lint free wipes to clean my nails so let's get started if i miss something i will add it during the video i just opened the box of the light pink sheer here is the product same size as the natural one and it also included a key to squeeze the tube you put it on the top like this and squeeze it down first of all we are going to file the top surface of our nails for this we're going to use the soft side of the file and we are going to file them softly and gently to remove any residues of glue nail polish oils natural oils anything you have on the surface of the nail to ensure a better adhesion of the poly gel to the nail we will do that with all our nails Same with the other hand, I will do that later. I'm going to show you this hand first. I'm going to dust the surface of the nails. I will wipe clean the surface of my nails using the Jellish Mini Nail Surface Cleanse. I have here a lint-free wipe. And I'm going to rub it, wipe them clean with the Nail Surface Cleanse. They look clean now, but I'm going to disinfect it with the ASP All Season Professional Antibacterial Cleansing Spray. It smells like pure rubbing alcohol, but it feels really nice on the skin. Now we're going to proceed to measure our nails. I have here Cosmo Natural, this is from Sally Beauty. They are very inexpensive, they didn't cost more than $10 to me. And I'm going to measure what nails I need and then afterwards I will prep my nails and then apply them. Your nails, you want to choose them a tiny bit bigger than your actual natural nails because they tend to shrink when you apply the products. If it is a little bit too big, just resize them with your nail file. This is good. This is perfect, look at that. This is good too. And the pinky. Perfect, okay. Once you have chosen your five nails for the first hand, you're going to apply the gelish pH bond. This helps to dry the nail, remove the oils, make it dry. Just pass one layer of this on all your nails and let it dry. It's kind of a drying effect. This is how they look. And now after that one, we're going to use the Harmony Pro Bond. This one is to ensure a better adhesion per se. I'm going to apply it to all the five nails. Now I'm going to glue my artificial nails to my natural nails. Grab your nail and you're going to put some glue at the bottom part of the nail. Now I'm going to put it on the nail, pressing firmly. Make sure that your nail is straight will align with your natural nail and hold it for several seconds press it firmly so it doesn't come off this is at least 10 seconds 
then go to the next one repeat the same process if you see any air pockets go ahead and fill them in now I'm going to file again on top of the tips on the edge to make it smoother and less visible this also ensures a better adhesion of the poly gel to the artificial nail just a slight buff Keep doing the same with all the nails. Use whatever side of the file that you understand that is the very one for you. There we go. Now we're going to cut them to our desired length. For that I use this clipper. I don't like them to be too long nor too short either. Place them straight on the nail and cut. This is how it looks. So quick, really easy to do. I kind of try to align them like this to make sure that I'm cutting the right amount. It's better to cut less than too much then when you have your second hand you can compare them one by one to make sure they look the same you can file them down if you need to at this point you're going to shape your nails if you like them square oval whatever shape you want you're going to do it now so you don't have to work a lot later filing down unneeded shapes or needed lengths. I prefer the square ones even though the fashion now it's almond, ovals and all that kind of things, squabbles. And keep doing the same with the rest of your nails. Now again, I'm going to wipe clean my nails with the Nail Surface Cleanse. I'm kind of picky, I like to do this twice. There you go. And I'm going to prime again my nails. So first, we're going to apply the Jellish pH Bond, including the tip. That way it dries out any oils and cleanses the surface to ensure a better adhesion. There we go. And now we're going to apply the second layer of primers. This is the Pro Bond by Harmony. And this is to make them like stickier, tackier to glue better. You're going to do this with all your nails. Now is the moment that we've been waiting for the application of the Jellish Poly Gel. I'm dying to try the light pink to see how it works. So that's the first one that I'm going to use. I will show you how the clear one works, how it looks. So I'm going to start with this one. Okay, first of all, we're going to pour the slip solution here in this cup, this little glass. I use the applicator, the brush. I'm going to Have the tip touch the tip of the bottle like this and let it run through the brush and i'm going to wet well the brush before starting clean it from the sides wet again 
painted from the side. Now that we're ready, I'm going to use this for the purpose of the demonstration. So you can see better how I do this. And I'm going to use the light pink shade of foliar. I'm going to open the tip. And this is how it looks. You squeeze it. I'm going to squeeze it with the hand to have better control. As you can see, I'm going to grab a big chunk. It's not that big. It's like the size of a pearl when you're doing acrylic. It looks really pretty, as you can see the color. And I'm going to place it on the center of my nail. I'm going to wet again my brush. And I'm going to start to mold the poly gel by pressing it gently. Then I remove any excess from the bottom, pulling up and clean it on the napkin. This is how it's looking. Very nice, very natural. I love this pink. The trick is to move the gel with the solution. You can move it to the back, to the front. You can play with it all the time of the world that you want because it won't dry up until you cure it under the UV light or LED light. And basically that's it. If you you can leave it like that and finish molding with your file. This looks really well. Now let me show you how the clear one works. This is the clear one. And grab the pearl I'm going to place it in the middle of the nail as I did in the previous one with the pearl and push it to the back of the nail avoid putting it on your skin and take it to the edge avoiding to touch your cuticle, your skin and shape the rest of the nail pushing it to the front sides if you can't make it as being difficult don't quit, keep trying you can remove it and start over if you're not using this brush maybe that can be the problem I don't like to have them neither too thick nor too thin because I use them as tools. I use my nails as tools, which is not good, but I do not learn the lesson. I use this little tip, which is flat from one side to make sure I don't have any excess of the poly gel. I have some here, as you can see, which I need to fix up before I cure it under the UV lamp. There you go. This is how the pink one looks. And this is how the clear one looks. Very, very natural. It is great for French nails. Pink and clear. You can cure them one by one under the UV light, but I prefer to do them all at the same time. So I will keep working with the rest of my nails and then cure them under the UV light.
a slip solution makes it softer and that is what it makes it move it actually has some kind of like perfume in it like sweet it doesn't smell bad at all and you push it and any excess that you have you just remove it from the front from the very tip like this you see that is way too much excess I'm going to remove it away there you go clean it on the napkin and retouch all the way to the front press it on the front to make it thinner and then I remove the excess from underneath like this Like that, clean the edges. I'm going to place my nails under the UV light for two minutes. This is how they look after dried. Now we're going to give the nails that final shape. We're going to finish filing your nails from the sides. You see, we're seeing things that we didn't see before. Make sure the sides are straight. Then on the top, make that surface even. If you see any holes or unevenness, you can reapply the poly gel, shape them and cure them again. Check your tips to see if they are the desired thickness that you like to have. If not, shape them, file them down. If you need more, you can apply more poly gel. It is quite dusty, but it's so soft to file. It's a pleasure to do it. And it doesn't smell. It smells even good. Okay, let's keep working the others. File your other nails. Press the sides, then the top. You can do it like this to detach it if it is sticking to your skin. Do it like this here. And press the other side like here if they are sticking and then file file the side straight the other side until it passes straight and soft and even and then file the top make sure that your cuticle is clean as clean as possible and thin overall the cuticle area, not your cuticle. Make sure you have the desired thickness, especially from the front. I don't like them thin because I use them as tools every time and I don't want them to break. Look at this one. This one is in process of shaping. And to the front. Make sure it's really rounded and nice like a natural nail. Ok, 
Keep doing the same with the rest of your nails. Now that all the nails are filed with the 100 and 180 grit file, we're going to buff them with a buffing block like this one to make the surface softer. We're done with the buffing and now we're going to clean again the nails with a surface cleanser and lint free wipes. Look how clear and nice they look, almost like natural. At this point, your nails are ready to be colored. You can use the top it off clear top coat, which is really good, or you can proceed to your next step with a powder coloring system or a gel nail polish. You can use this tool, which is a cuticle remover, to clean the bottom of your nails like this from any residue. Now let's apply the top it off, top coat. Switch one side, half of the other, and start from the middle to the top of your nail. Then cap the free edge. Next one, clean one side, then half of the other, Start from the middle to the top and then the bottom. If you need more, then get more. Cap the free edge. Do the same with the next one. And the last one from this hand. Look how pretty they look. Natural, easy, and really economic to do. Now I'm going to cure them under the UV light for around 90 seconds. Okay, 90 seconds passed. My nails are cured. My top it off is dry. And this is the final product, as you can see. Let me show you better so you can see better. This is how they look. Very nice, very natural. It is economic, it is affordable. For a fraction of what you pay in a nail salon, you can do your own nails at home and they are as durable as acrylic, easier to manage than acrylic, softer to file, softer to buff, and way easier to remove than acrylic nails. So I recommend this product. I've been loving it for a while and I do not change it because it is a life-changing product to me. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Check my next videos on how to apply gel nail polish and powder nail polish and some designs that I will be showing soon. Please like and subscribe, comment below, and give me a big thumbs up. See you soon. Bye-bye.